All right, everyone, welcome back. This is part five of, of The Last of Us Remastered, and we are about to continue to attempt uh, to smuggle Ellie out of the city it's here. strange that they're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice, or the second for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. It's pretty dank outside, to be honest with you. Yeah. Come on. It's kind of cool, though, because this game definitely has its seasons. I believe, yeah, this is summer. I believe that we're in right now. It's kind of like everything comes full circle because when the game ends, it will be summer again. So basically, this game spans over the course of a year. Who's waiting for us at the drop off? She said there's some fireflies that have traveled all the way from another city. The girl must be important. What is the deal with you? Are you some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How One of these days, I think it would be cool to see a game that actually makes their characters eat food to live. Like, if they don't eat food within a certain time period, then they die or something like that. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. Alright, so that's just nothing. That's just a map of some roots, I guess. Yeah, but I always think about that, how, I mean, you'll be playing a game, you know, like I said, this game spans a year, but you'll never see the characters eat, you know, like, unless they're hurt or something like that, and then all of a sudden they eat a candy bar, and that's supposed to heal their their uh, wounds or something, which is kind of stupid. Alright, what are we doing? Am I climbing up here? The game's not letting me interact. I know I'm supposed to climb up there, but what's going on? There we go. Now hold up. There's a patrol up ahead. I just think that there's a lot more right. that games can do. We're good, come on up. A lot more that uh, is going to be coming out over the next few years on, that please. is going to make games like these Watch seem kind of... Archaic. It's raining. Good. Just a fancy good. way of saying that these games eventually are going to look like really outdated, kind of like we're playing uh, like an Atari game, you know, or something like that. And of course, I think that we're uh, quite a ways off from from that happening, though. I mean, when you look at the current generation consoles. I mean, right now the game developers haven't even figured out how to really push push the PS4 or Xbox One to their limits yet. Of course, they haven't been out that long, but still. Up this way. The weather uh, reminds me back home in Washington. Don't do anything stupid. Move. Turn around, on your knees. You scan them, I'll call it in. Put your hands on your head. This is Ramirez at Sector 12, requesting pickup for three stragglers. Understood. Look the other way. We can make this worth your while. Shut up. What's the ETA? Couple minutes. Oh. I mean, give me, give me a break. Oh fuck. That uh, I we were other just guard. Hold him up or something. Really let down their partner there.
Marlene set us up? Why the hell are we smuggling an infected girl? I'm not infected. No? I'm just lying. I can explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. It's three weeks old. No, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks. I swear. Why would she set you up? So here's where we find out that Ellie's been bitten and infected, but she hasn't turned, and that's because she has a gene that could possibly be the cure for the virus, so kind of tells you how uh, important she is. All right, so this next part up here, there's a number of ways you can play it. The way that I play this part is uh, just try to get out of here without using hardly any ammo. Give me the signal. We run. Signal. Run. Got it. Now, run. Like I said, any kind of uh, ammunition for your gun is a premium in this game. Stay away from those lights. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here just for a moment because I think I'm gonna up the brightness a tad. I don't know how dark it is uh, on the recording, but it looks a little bit dark on screen, so I'm just gonna up the brightness a little bit. Making our way through uh, this cavern here, trying not to get spotted by these guards. Are we sure they came this way? Stay down, don't let him see you. Come on, kid. Follow Joe. Oh, crap. And I did not do a good job. It doesn't really matter though, because as long as you run and get out of the side of their fire, that's all that really matters. I hear him up ahead. So we made it out of there relatively unscathed anyway. I didn't get shot up too much. I'm also going to be happy. I mean, hopefully sometime in the future, games will get rid of these uh, button time events here. I don't know if they realize it or not, but typically... Uh, Gamers don't really like quick time events, and just about every game nowadays has them. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but. I ain't spotted this yet. Let's go around. Alright, I'm gonna try to get past these guards. There's too many tests. Oh crap. Oh dang. Alright. There might be another way around to where I don't have to swing swing past that guy. 
you could try to take all these guys out, but you're going to end up wasting a lot of, well, you're pretty much going to be wasting all of the ammo, and you have to get headshots on these guys, because if you shoot them in their body, you're essentially not doing anything to them. be all right now there we go yeah the first time I played that part I thought that I had to help uh, or stay behind with Ellie and Tess but that's not the case if you just take off and run Ellie and Tess will show up behind you eventually yeah this looks right and I'm not trying to avoid the guards because uh, I will typically kill anybody that I can. However, at these early stages in the game, you really need to need to save your ammo. And I'm not about to just waste my ammunition that I have on those guys. Have a look. All right. I don't I think there's anything there. in this room, but I'm going to take a quick look oh. around. Which you would think that there would be something in here with uh, with how big this room is, but... Again, I'm playing on hard difficulty, so there's not going to be a whole lot of items just lying around. More soldiers. Target's still on the loose, sir. Break off pursuit and report back to sector 11. I don't think they see us. Stick with shadows. All right, so the guards are calling off their search. I could stop crouching like a jackass and actually walk like a human being. Yeah, man, there's like nothing in here. All right. I think there might be a couple items in this room. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Are we safe? No. They're still around. Look, take a moment to catch your breath. Joel, see if there's anything we can use in here. Sure thing, boss. All right, I think that's about all I'm going to find in here, so we're going to press on. Tess, up through here through this pipe. I think we can make it through here. Stay very close, Sully. Okay. There you go. Look, what was the plan? Let's say that we deliver you to the Fireflies. What then? Marlene, she said that they have their own little quarantine zone. With doctors, they're still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? And that... Whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she did. Hey, fuck you, yeah, man. to call Joel a cynic Me would neither. be a uh, what the hell are we understatement. What if it's true? I can't... <sighs> what if, Joel? I mean, we've come this far. Let's just finish it. Do I need to remind you what is out there? I get it. All right, this way. so what Tess was uh, down trying down to the reference there when she said uh, she gets it is that obviously uh, 
Ellie reminds Joel of his daughter Sarah, so... He's not really wanting to real reopen old wounds, uh, so to speak. At any rate, we're going to go ahead and end the part here. And when we continue, we will uh, get a chance to see the clickers for the first time. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Thank you.